Warning, sensitive content. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. You are on the eve of a great spiritual awakening, a great change in the churches, where true souls will be drawn to seek the actual experience of God's presence. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 204, Paramahansa Yogananda, Vegetarian, on the Eve of the Great Spiritual Awakening. Television portrays a lovely fairy tale about the dead animals on our plates. Never does it deal with the reality of how all those trillions of animals get horrifically raised, mistreated, and then snuffed out so you can eat a plate of mom's beef stroganoff. Tommy King, vegan. Namaste, amiable viewers. This is how the welcoming people of Sikkim say hello. My name is Skandamata and I am the Hindu deity of love and motherhood. The sincere people of India celebrate the immense love and care that you express toward the precious children. May each family treasure the blessing of these innocent jewels from heaven and the love and joy they bring. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often prosecuted and oppressed. Their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it.
Dear viewers, welcome back to the continuation of our insightful show Paramhansa Yogananda on the eve of the great spiritual awakening. In the last episode, Master Yogananda informed us of the rise of the international criminals and we were shown how demonic evil has completely infiltrated the center of the Catholic Church, the Vatican and their so-called men of God as well as governments and their politicians such as the current Biden administration in the United States. Today, we will discover how these negative and destructive energetic remnants of the bygone Iron Era also manifest as international criminals of war. This is most starkly evident through the recent invasion of Ukraine by another demonic entity, Russia's leader Vladimir Putin. Master Yogananda predicted that Russia would be a major concern and potentially the cause of a world war. He was also clear that the outcome would be dire for Russia. This will be truly a purging by fire. Europe will be devastated. Russia will be annihilated. Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine has not only caused the loss of numerous lives and destruction in Ukraine, but the whole world has also been affected. This is due in part to Ukraine's pivotal role as a major grain exporter to European and African countries. Already food shortages in affected regions have created famine-like crises. Added to this are sanctions on Russian energy exports which have affected all of Europe. The Hague International Criminal Court has launched a war crimes probe over this unprovoked invasion. Russia's naval blockade of Ukrainian ports has bottled up 20 million tons of grain, grain destined for global markets. World leaders are now accusing Russia of using that grain as a weapon by threatening to worsen current food shortages. The world's newest country is bracing for potentially worse, becoming the latest indirect casualty of the conflict in Ukraine. Yabani Kong knows what it's like to stare death in the face. She used to eat once a day. Now, it's been a long time without food, she says. I last ate two weeks ago. So we see she's already in the red. Severely malnourished, yeah. I'm afraid, you know, any child like that, we are very close to losing them really? within days. Right now, our numbers show that there are up to 345 million people who are in hunger emergencies or worse situations. 50 million people are one step away from famine. Supreme Master Jingha has most recently highlighted the long list of Russia initiated or infiltrated wars and conflicts. The violence of these aggressions has caused over 7 million lives, injured, maimed, and disabled countless more, devastated lands, infrastructures, and economies in many countries, etc.
this prophecy is also already coming true due to the world's various sanctions being imposed for Russia's invasion, with Russia's economy worsening as it becomes more and more isolated. More than 400 of the world's biggest brands fleeing so quickly, they left the window dressing. Russia's financial system remains in shock. Very expensive. It's hard for us. We want to eat. The whole supply chain has been damaged. Many producers are not sending raw materials or finished products to Russia. Even if they are, containers aren't leaving because of concerns about sanctions. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has led to suffering for his own people including Russians who were overseas at the time, and now they're trying to get home. International sanctions have left many with no money at all. It seems almost inconceivable that any leader would inflict such damage to their neighbors, just as it seems incomprehensible that other leaders would allow this to continue without decisively acting to stop it. One of our association members experienced an inner vision about this situation. Dichu 我的这种体验在2008年看过一次。今年2022年初又看到一次。普丁在地狱所见的是最人们被地狱鬼族拿刀和枪刺穿身体，身上至少有100个洞以上，肮脏的血就从那些洞里流出，被惩罚的罪人
Could this be referring to the change we are already seeing where the church is becoming a place of meditation and the actual experience of God is sought through an enlightened being? Param Hansa Yukananda, true to the law of God from the beginning, often spoke about the necessity of direct contact with a fully enlightened master for a person who is seeking spiritual awakening. Many readers of Param Hansa Yukananda's works have since lamented, How can I achieve liberation from this worldly suffering when the Master has left? Param Hansa Yukananda left the clues in a poem he wrote titled God's Boatman. Oh, I will come back again and again, crossing a million cracks of suffering. With bleeding feet, I will come. If need be, a trillion times, as long as I know that one stray brother is left behind. For mortal minds, such compassion is simply inconceivable. As affirmed by Param Hansa Yukananda, God's boatman has promised to be here on earth to save the suffering souls trapped in karmic situations. As prophesied numerous times by saints across the ages, this Saviour has returned as Supreme Master Ching Hai. I'm doing this job life after life. It's just like a lifer, you know, like <laughs> I can't quit. <laughs> Wherever I go, you know, I'm assigned a similar job. I do anything or I incarnate anywhere is all because of the uh, working together with the universal plan and the karmic uh, pattern of uh, the world in that specific time. Yes, Master. Um, so, Master, just following up on that, you mentioned that you have always been a Master. Does that mean that no matter what profession you are, you, you've always been here to save souls and bring them back to heaven? Yeah and to leave some traces of blessings from the Divine, to prepare humans and others for higher evolution, to help to rise their consciousness, yeah? Even to teach openly or not, yeah? Yes, Master. But uh, most of the time on this planet uh, has never been such a, a big and uh, wide and broad teaching like this time. Oh, yes? I see. Mostly, for example, the teaching just a region or some maybe a couple of hundreds of thousands of disciples, for example, but uh, never the whole world like this. While Supreme Master Ching Hai is not affiliated with any established religion, her teachings originate from the source of the doctrines of all religions. Beyond that, she helps all sincere truth seekers rediscover the true self or God within through contact with the inner heavenly light and sound. Disciples initiated by Supreme Master Ching Hai or even non-initiated sincere seekers report their direct experience of God's presence both in real life and through inner visions. Master, after the initiation, I can hear the sound. I can uh, I can see the God in every single thing. Yeah. Uh, like even the trees, the yeah. ev everything. Supposed but, to be. Yes. Yeah. And I was just like floating in 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 God's grace. Yeah. And everything is just doing by God, my work, yeah. my housework, everything. When I meditate, and uh, I feel, and I know clearly some energy from God, mm. like the love, the vibration, yeah, that's the important. light, the sound. I put, uh, I saw God and the, the light was... Uh, so blinding. Huh? So blinding. So I know, I know. Bless you. Uh, and he was very, very happy. دیدم خداوند در قالب یک بانوی و با شادی بدون وصفی محکم من را در آغوش کشید هیچ کلامی قادر به گفتن حسان لحظه نیست 
حتی قد و ظاهر آن بانو کاملا مطابق استاد عزیزم چینگ های بود The Guanyin method is just a Chinese name for contemplation on the word of God, which will be heard uh, at the time of initiation. And with this universal language, God teach us everything that we need to know, how to manage our life, and show us heaven and His real identity, as well as our identity. Then we will know that we are one with God. As Supreme Master Jing Hai has mentioned, it is through spiritual practice that we reconnect with our original nature to receive the highest wisdom and guidance from God. Param Hansa Yogananda reminded his followers about seeking refuge in the inner divine, especially during times of outer upheaval. Those who follow this teaching of inner self-realization will be protected during the difficult times to come. Do not seek perfection in this world. Seek it only in God. I say, then what would save people from COVID? So he told me. I wrote his CV chief. Yeah, CV means COVID chief. A uh, disciple of Supreme Master Ching Hai. Whoa. <laughs> I put a Whoa. exclamation mark. Wow. And then I, I protested. I said, "But I promised, if they turn vegan, repentant, I will help them go heaven. Is that not supposed to happen now?" So CV chief said to me, "Oh well, yes, if sincere. That's his words. Mm. Yes, if sincere. Wow. So you see, the the point is, people have to repent." Turn vegan and truly, sincerely, humbly repent. Sincerely repent, as urgent as you need air to breathe. Yes, 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 yes sir. As sincere as that. Right. Then they will be helped. Then they will be allowed to be helped. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I can interfere with heaven. That's what it means. Right. Continue to make war, because you feel that you are so small. You must make noise so people notice you. Noble viewers, thank you for joining us today. Please tune in again next week for more prophecies from venerated enlightened master Paramhansa Yogananda. Coming up is Saint Anthony the Great, vegan, venerated hermit of the desert, part two of two, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May the serene beauty of nature imbue your heart with peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com barre oblique AP. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barre inclinada AP. I nostri programmi sono offerti in molte lingue. Consultate suprimastertv.com barra schedule e suprimastertv.com barra ap.